Good morning. It's Thursday, September the 15th, and we are moving along in the week and in the month, that's for sure, and also in the semester. It kind of goes by pretty fast when you think about it, when it's week to week like this. It just kind of goes by. So uh, thank you for turning in your, your final writing assignment. I'm almost halfway finished with grading them and critiquing them. And then I'll be sending um, my comments back to you along with your letter grade or actually it'll probably be a number grade um, that you can uh, translate into a letter grade. So I'm almost halfway done. I do anticipate being done grading your um, writing assignments by the end of the weekend because I want to stay on track for whenever you uh, get your second writing assignment turned in the instructions process. So I want to have the uh, final uh, version of your first writing assignment done so I can get started with the second writing assignment. But it takes me about an hour, just about an hour apiece on each one of your submissions uh, to put my comments and grade them and uh, get them all set up. Uh, to get sent back to you. So it's a little bit of a process there. Um, I'm also attaching the grading rubric to your document when I email it back to you. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see the grading rubric as a reminder for what constitutes an A paper, a B paper, and so forth. So you get a good idea of the elements that I was looking for and that you should have been uh, aware of as well um, in order to get the desired grade. And then we're going to move into, uh, like I said, assignment number two. I'm looking for your drafts uh, this weekend. I'm giving you all the way until the end of Sunday to do that. So even starting today, Thursday, you've still got a solid, what, today and so four days if you include today to get something turned in that um, is workable. Like I said, you can use a PowerPoint. A lot of times that could actually be um, a pretty easy software to use, especially for uh, doing instructions. And uh, use the any kind of uh, aids that I provided you. Uh, uh, read the book uh, as far as the chapter on doing instructions and then turn me in a nice draft and I'll start providing you feedback next week on your draft for your instructions process as we move forward into the third, the fourth, and then ultimately the fifth writing assignment. It's going to be a lot more writing involved. This is where we're going to get a little bit more scholarly, if you will. Uh, it's going to be more in-depth, um, a little bit meatier as far as the projects that we're going to be doing. And I want to give you enough time during the semester to uh, produce some good work. That's why I'm really trying to push to stay on track with these first couple of assignments. Because as we move forward into the um, research proposal <laughs> memo, um, those items will require you to do um, some extra reading and to, to read some peer-reviewed articles and some other things you'll have to do in order to put together a, a good paper. And so uh, I want to give you enough time during the semester to get the rest of these writing assignments completed. So let's stay on track with the instructions process so that we can move forward um, in a timely manner uh, with the rest of the assignments. Uh, other than that, the quizzes should be available to you. Uh, be sure and Read your quiz, um, take your quiz, read your uh, information in the book. Uh, be familiar with that. Get your quizzes done. There was no discussion post for this week, so uh, that's not an issue. Uh, your discussion post is actually just putting in your, um, your draft of your instruction um, process that you're going to do so that you can uh, review, do one peer review as well uh, with your peers. And I think that pretty much catches us up 
I've been trying to stay on top of any emails that you send me, uh, any concerns or uh, questions, or even if you needed some grace periods with some of the things that are going on with a couple of the assignments. So I think I'm on top of the emails. Uh, we should be good right now. Uh, keep up the good work. Definitely use the critique that I provide you. Uh, if I provide you feedback uh, on your draft, then definitely take that uh, feedback to heart and make those changes, make those adjustments, because it's gonna make all the difference in the world with your grade. Uh, so there's just great potential to do very well in the class because I'm definitely going to be attentive, I'm gonna be detailed, and I'm gonna give you the tools that you need to uh, do very well in this, in this class. So. I think we're all caught up now. Uh, stay in touch with me uh, by email. And um, I do have office hours, so definitely reach out to me if you need to Zoom on anything. But I think other than that, we're pretty much on track. Have a good rest of your week. Uh, come up with a good idea for your instructions. Uh, put something good together. You've got a lot of different things you can do instructions on. Trust me, I, I work in healthcare. And everything we do seems to have some type of pattern and some type of step-by-step -step to it. And so um, I basically work in the technical communication field. What I do for a living is essentially communicate technically. So I tr trust me, I understand the idea of having to do step-by-step -step processes. So you got a lot there to work with, you know. Tell us how to change oil in the car. You know, tell us how to change a flat tire. You know, teach us how to cook your favorite meal. Uh, you know, teach us how to decorate a tree for Christmas. So many different things you can do. So uh, have fun with it. You might even want to teach us how to carve a pumpkin because Halloween is coming. So have fun with that uh, process. Put something good together that we can follow. Make it look good. And uh, we'll touch bases a little bit later. As always, have a great and safe day, and we will chat a little later.